Hello again, my fellow YouTube dippers. This is Joey Led Snoosing here for another snooze review. Joey Lids Dippin, 94. Yes, I said snooze, because I actually decided to do something a little different. I remember I did a review of the camel snooze, and that was a fail. That fucking sucked. But I'm going to show you what I have today. So I went to the tea store yesterday, and I got a few tins. Um, and this is what I got. Got Copenhagen Long Cut. I know I already reviewed it, but I love this stuff, so I got it anyways. Grizzly Snuff. Um, I got a few requests to do this one, and when I first smelled it from the outside, I said, oh, that kind of smells like Cope Snuff. When you open it up, I don't know about this stuff, I gotta tell you, I'm still gonna review it eventually, but not this time, because I don't want to review it today. And these are the big shockers. I got the two skull snoozes. I'm not a snooze person, I don't care for snooze. But I always see these in the store, and I was always just so curious about them, I had to get them, and I wanted to review them. So they have the Skull Mint Snooze. And the one we're going to be reviewing today, Skull Smooth Mint Snooze. Even though it's Snooze, holy hell that can looks sexy. This is the can that really drew me in. This is the can that made me want to try it. Because it, this is a fucking sexy ass can. I could whack off to this for hours! Let's take a look here. It's really nice tenants. It's teal, it just it looks nice. This actually tells you how to use it. Place an upper lip. Spitting optional. <laughs> the construction is your average skull tin, but you know what's really weird about these? See the label here? It's not made of paper like the other skulls are. It's actually either rubber or plastic. I don't know why if that's to keep the snooze fresh, but um, it's kind of cool actually. A little bit different on both of them. The label is either plastic or rubber, one of the two. Your date on this is pretty good. It's July 23rd, 2011. I know you can't read it, but that's actually pretty good. So let's take a whiff of the Skull Smoothman Snooze. You know, obviously it's Snooze. It's not going to smell like tobacco. Well, American Snooze anyways. It really smells to me like peppermint. That's really what it smells like to me, which is a good smell. Now look at these. Look at how white they are. Like, pouches are usually brown, and I opened this and I was like... These look so clean! They look clean! CLEAN! And I love that because I'm OCD. Look at how fucking clean they look! Each can comes with 15, and I've dipped 7, so I have 8 left. I know you're supposed to pack them in the upper lip. I don't like packing stuff in the upper lip. I still put it in the bottom, even though it's snooze and it tells you that you have to put it in the upper lip. I'm not gonna put it in the upper lip. The bottom lip's where it's at! fluff them up. I don't even know if that does anything, but I still like to fluff them up. They're like little pillows with shit inside. When it comes to pouches, I usually double barrel them. When it's snooze, I, I, I put three in. Hell, why not? Speaking of snooze, it's pronounced snus, you know? It looks like snus. But everyone around here, all my friends, they all say snus, and it pisses me the fuck off. Why the hell do you say snus? That's not right! So last time I knew this fucking shit, you think I need this? Well, I do! So please say snus, otherwise Joe will be angry. Okay, so the flavor. When it comes to snus, you can't expect it to taste like tobacco. It's not gonna taste like tobacco. To me, it really just tastes like peppermint. Just like it smells. 
It really just tastes like Eclipse gum. So it's not bad. Obviously, I'm not a snooze person, so, uh, you know, I like to have the tobacco flavor in there. But for a snooze, this is not bad. It's definitely a smooth mint taste. Well, pepperminty, but it's nonetheless, it's a smooth flavor. I really cannot compare this to anything else because I'm not a big snooze person. I've had Camel snooze, I've had Marlboro snooze, and um, this is different. Um, so I can't really compare it. It's different than this too, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. Like I said, I'm not a snoozer as it is, so I can't do cut or packability. I guess I can do texture of the pouch itself. Um, it's just nice and soft. It sits comfortably in there, you know. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't irritate or anything. What's next on the handed angel list? The actual pouches don't give you a burn. However, if you have Copenhagen or something, and then you put one of these in, in the same spot, it's gonna burn because the Copenhagen's already wearing away your gum, so it'll be open. But the pouches on, on their own, they don't leave a burn. They just leave like a minty tingle almost. Nicotine. Well, it's American snooze, so we know it's extremely strong. Nope! We all know that Swedish snooze is the real strong snooze. We all know American snooze. It's, it won't give you anything. You can be a kid who's never tried snooze, dip, cigarette, cigars, whatever, and dip freaking like three or four of these and not get anything. I mean, I'm sure if I dip the whole can, I wouldn't even get anything out of it. It's just so low in nicotine. American snooze. If I say anything about snooze, I'm referring to American snooze. So if I say Snoo snooze has no nicotine, don't think I'm talking about Swedish snooze. We're talking about fucking skull snooze here. As for the spit, you have to have them in your mouth for a little while before it starts kicking in. Uh, eventually, you do get a lot of spit out of it. You know, on the tin it says spitting optional. So you can either spit it or swallow it. For me, I can swallow it, but I can't swallow a lot. Uh, it doesn't get me sick or anything, but I find that if I swallow too much of it, my throat starts to get irritated, and it, oh, it's almost like heartburn. Um, so it has nothing to do with nicotine, it's just, you know, that shouldn't be going into your system as it is. But you can swallow it, and, you know, you'll be fine. Um, so I find myself kind of switching. If I swallow it a lot, and then my throat starts getting irritated, I'll, I'll spit. But, you know, you can, you can do whatever's comfortable with you. Everyone's different, but I find that it can tend to irritate your throat a bit. But once it does kick in, you get a lot of spit. You really, it, it's like, probably more than any of the skull. I don't know why, but you get a lot of spit. Last ability, this is a huge pro for skull snooze. This stuff lasts forever. I've been dipping it all night, and holy hell, these, you can keep, I put three of them in, you can leave it in for like two hours and they'll still be juicy. They last forever. And you know, eventually the flavor starts fading away. But even when the flavor starts fading away, the spit's still there. So the only reason I took it out was because the flavor was gone. But the last ability, the actual spit, it freaking stays forever. The good thing about the snooze, however, is you don't get an aftertaste. All it tastes like is the actual snooze packet. Or pouch, I should say. I'm sorry. Don't yell at me! Once you take it out, you just have that smooth mint taste. Um, no horrible aftertaste or anything like that. Because there's some really good dips out there and you love them while it's in, but then once you take it out, it's like, ugh, you know? Um, these aren't like that. And just excuse me while I lay it down for you. Um, I don't want anyone hating on me because I'm doing snooze. Uh, like I said, I've just seen these cans and I've just been curious to try them. So I said, you know what? If anyone's going to hate on me, fuck yeah, I'm going to try it anyways. Now it's on to shout outs. Cajun Tiger 616, Do My Dash, Sick Boy OK, Super Express It, B Van Sitter at 56, Country Boy Andy, 5555 Bomber, Guns Productions, Mud Jug 1, and is that it? I, I think that's it. If I forgot anybody, I apologize. You can obviously tell that I'm, I don't love giving shout outs. I mean, I like giving those people shout outs and, you know, getting them recognition and whatnot. Um, but I just, you know, you get tired of it because every video, the way you review dip changes. Shoutouts don't. It's the same thing over and over again. It's just like, eh. This is just a guess, but I, I think you get the point. So overall, the Skull Smooth Mint Snooze. I've been very, very impressed with it. Now, like I said, obviously it's not manly. You don't get that tobacco flavor. You don't get really any nicotine, you know, all that blah, blah, blah bullshit. But... For a snooze, it's very, very good. 
It's probably the best noose I've ever had. It fucking blows Camel and Marlboro right out of the water. Camel's a fucking joke. Marlboro, eh, whatever. But this, this just blows it right out. This is way better. If you're gonna try a snooze, get the skull. Um, cause it's, just, it's way better than any other snooze out there. American snooze. I'm sorry! I've never had Swedish snooze before. So I really don't know a lot about it. So I'm just speaking about American snooze here. Um, you know, from what I hear, you know, the real, the real deal, Swedish snooze uh, packs quite a punch. But I, I, I've never had it, so I can't tell you. I hope you guys aren't mad at me for the rating I'm going to give this. Now, if we were talking about dip and snooze combined, um, this would have a different rating, but we're just talking about snooze here. This is my rating, you know, based on different snooses I've had. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. For a snooze, there's really nothing bad about it. Good taste, lasts long, good amount of spit, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. And here it's a bit cheaper than regular Skull too. Skull around here ranges anywhere from 5 to 8 bucks, it depends where you go. Um, but this was $4, each of these were 4 So, I mean, I think that's a pretty good deal. The people in the South are like, you fucking kidding me right now? While I'm all like, yeah, 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 I got a bargain. And, you know, then we look at Canada and we're just like, holy fuck. But that has been the Smooth Mint. I want to thank all the subscribers. I really, 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 really appreciate that. Um, holy hell, you know. You know, I used to have an account back like a year and a half ago, and I packed pussy lips, and, uh, you know, everybody hated on me. My videos sucked. I didn't use any editing. I would just be like, hey, guys. I was all camera shy, too. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm Joe. This is Joey Let's Do them. Okay, we're going to go through the school and uh, it's, it's good, you know, you, you can try to be on it, right? That's it, you know, and I can see why people hate it on me, but I'm glad that I can actually pack a good lift now, and that, uh, you know, it's just amazing to me, it, it, it shocks me every day, you know, it goes up even a few subscribers a day, it just it blows my mind. So thank you all the subscribers, you rock, yeah! So I'm actually going to let you guys decide something for me. And the majority of whichever one has more comments or votes or whatever you want to call it, I'll do. Do you want me to review the Skullman Snooze next? Or the Grizzly Snuff next? Let me know. So, that has been this review. I hope you enjoyed this Joey-led snoozing. More reviews coming soon. Take care.